Joining us now is Erin, and she's with Divine Brides. Really cute name because her last name was Divine, and now it's Natter. So it's Erin Divine Natter joining us now. Hi, how are you? Good. Thank you so much for having me today. Good. Divine Brides. That sounds like a fun name for a company. What is it that you do specifically? I know it has something to do with art. I saw this really cool like slider art where the two, like the bride just slides across to the groom. Super cute. Um, but now you have an art company specializing in bridal. Yes, so I'm a bridal illustrator by nature. I do anything from mother of the bride to grandma of the bride, babies of the bride, and I sketch anything bridal. It all started out by sketching wedding dresses, and then it turned into wedding keepsakes, mem memorial pieces, memory keepsakes, and things like that. I do a lot of gifts from wedding mornings where people give their parents a gift in the morning of their wedding. And it's really emotional and just captures the whole day and a, a really great memory and it's very special. Um, and yes, the invitations, that's kind of the interactive piece that I do where the bride does walk to the groom um, and the invitation pulls out and all the information is on the slide out. And it's kind of a fun way and people remember it and they bring it to the wedding and they're really excited about it. I love the fact that you used to work in like corporate America and you recently said, that's it, I'm quitting my day job. Yes, I was working Yay, wait a <laughs> <laughs> I was working in corporate fashion in product development for 10 years uh, with some internships here and there for big companies, small companies. And earlier this year, I decided it's time to just take the plunge and this is no longer a side business. This is what I'm destined to do. And now for the last Two weeks now, I've been working for myself and it's been an absolute dream. I'm so excited that you decided that you would be a guest on my show because as you know, we were doing like a couple of like really big bridal specials. This is a perfect fit. I will tell you something that I don't even think my audience knows, which is years ago, I was a stay-at-home mom and I had a house portrait business and I was just doing illustrations of people's homes. You know, I went to the Huntington uh, Fall Festival and I put up some home renderings that I did that were pen and ink sketch or watercolor so cool. paint or so. Yeah, and so I know that feeling of when you finally say yes to yourself, when you say, you know what, I was gifted this art talent and I'm gonna use it. So exactly. it must be so satisfying for you. Exactly, I'm in full control. I decide what I wanna do every day and. Creating art has always been my passion since I can remember as a child. So this is, I'm finally living my dream and this is what I'm truly passionate about. It's really wonderful, your work. And so do you work from photographs? Like, like what's the process? If someone says to you, um, oh, okay, I wanna get you a gift from Divine Brides, you know, um, do you have like a gift certificate so that you maybe deliver it after the wedding or what's the process like? I do have gift certificates, but my primary source of working with brides is with reference photos. And I can use anywhere from one to 10 reference photos. So it could be done after the wedding from a photo that was taken by a professional photographer, or it can be done before the wedding with various reference photos, whether it was them at their fitting, the picture of the mom with the earrings she wants to wear. I can take all of the different reference photos and combine them into one illustration. And that's what makes it so special and unique, where it's almost like you're getting something from the future that day. It's like, how did she know I was oh. going to look like this? I'm, I'm wearing this right now. And that's kind of like the beauty of it, where it's like, how did she know? Like, I'm living this right now. And like, as a former bride myself, that's like the most special moment of the whole day, it's just like being with your family and soaking in those special moments. Now, speak to that and being a bride yourself, did you also go back and create something for yourself to give to your groom? So Have you I done actually, that yet or I, is that coming? So I drew it before the wedding. Okay. I made one for my parents and my mother-in-law and I gave it to them the morning of the wedding before any makeup was done because it was a very emotional experience. Um, but I did make one for me and my husband and it was displayed at the wedding. And I do a lot of that uh, wow. for brides where they like okay. to be displayed at their cocktail hour. And um, people are like, oh my God, like that's what they're wearing right now. Like this is happening in real time. So a lot of that in the moment is what makes everything truly special. And what art teacher growing up with or somebody that you learned you know, something from that you like to remember? member as you're creating something because everybody has a mentor of some of sort. Of course. Uh, so Mrs. Rita Murphy at my high school, she had a fashion program um, at my high school, Deer Park High School, and she believed in all of us. She made us go to these FIT pre-college programs on the weekend and we would all take the train in from Long Island to the city together and it was a really special bonding moment. Just doing, knowing what you want to do at such a young age is something so profound uh, and not everybody gets that privilege. So she really inspired me to just wake up early on Saturday morning, go to school, go to college and high school and wow. really just start learning how to illustrate. And talking about illustrations, were you working like with the tracings, with like tracing paper and drawing models and then fabrics and layer by layer? Is that the class you went to? 
So it was an illustration class and we did a little bit of tracing and you, you kind of have to learn how to work with fashion illustration types of bodies first because it's way different from drawing a model figure. Yes. So it's 10 heads versus eight and they're super long legs. It's really thin. You know, and when you say ten, I know what you mean because I have an art background. Right. When you say eight, <laughs> wait, eight times is 10 instead of 10. But when you divide up the body, the exactly. human body, you would take a measurement of like that person's head. And then if you were doing a portrait of somebody, it would be eight heads. But when you're doing fashion, you add two more heads. Yes, this uh, way. straight to the legs. So okay. <laughs> super elongated and exaggerated. Beautiful. Um, that's fun. That's a fun memory for me too. And is there are there certain tools or uh, paper or pencils that you like to work with? Like Winsor Newton? Is there like, what's your go-to brands? So I use chart pack markers. Um, and Prismacolor colored pencils. And I have a very specific marker paper that I use. It's called Borden and O'Reilly. Um, and I've used that for the past 13 years since I was in college. Wow. And I have a ton of them all over the house and tracing paper. I still work the same way I used to in college. So it's your process. Yeah, I got my own process. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Once again, congratulations on saying to yourself that you are gonna do this full time. I know that you're gonna make it a huge, success. you're already successful, <laughs> but you know, it's good for you that you said goodbye to corporate America. Thank you. Not, you know, <laughs> There's a reason that we're butcher bakers and candlestick makers, right? And for some people, corporate America is absolutely wonderful. But if you were given a talent like art, I'm so happy that you're going to be able to use that full time. Absolutely. So continued success to you. Thank you so much. Way to go, Erin, <laughs> Divine Brides. Woohoo! Um, thank you again. Thank it you so much. Lovely to have so, you here. Thank you for having celebrating me. Celebrating art. Yay for Yay. art. Yay for <laughs> art. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. We have truly been living it up right here. What a wonderful a gift and it could be shipped anywhere, anywhere in the whole entire world. So check it out. Thanks.